Okay, what is up YouTube? Back with another review. In this review, we are going to be reviewing the uh, Logitech MK360 keyboard and mouse combo. You can pick this up at Walmart for 29 bucks, I think. And it comes with the mouse and the keyboard. So let's go ahead and talk about this keyboard. Battery life, three years. So very long battery life. Don't need to replace the batteries every uh, six months or anything like that. Very, very compact. Uh, has a bunch of buttons, a bunch of hot keys and everything like that. One touch. Uh, this thing has six hot keys, like I said, and 12 programmable F keys. So you can get instant access to your music, email, or anything you could program it to do. So we'll go ahead and let you take a closer look at the keys on this thing. Right there you see your on and off switch. Cut it on, cut it off. You have a full number pad right there. So there's a look at all the keys on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and take a look at this mouse. Now this is the M215 laser mouse. Um, there's your laser right there. And this thing does come with the little Bluetooth toggle thing that you hook into the side of your computer very small. This will get you a six month battery life. So not too long of a battery life, but I mean it will get you at least some battery life. So there that is. Two buttons, scroll wheel, and it feels pretty good in your hand. Very basic design and your battery sits right under there. So, back uh, to the keyboard. Really no bad thing to say about it. Um, I'll show you where the batteries go on the keyboard and I'll show you around the back of it. You, of course, you have your adjustable feet to give it an angle for better typing. You have your battery compartment right in there. And that will take two double A's. So, I'll show you that too. There they are, and you can house your Bluetooth receiver right in there, so you don't have to have it in the side of your computer. And here is the model number of the keyboard, K360, and it has some pretty grippy rubber feet on the bottom. And also, uh, the Nano receiver, you can house it in here too, along with one, uh, I have a rechargeable AA. Um, I would recommend rechargeable so you can just charge it up whenever it goes dead. And then this just snaps right back on there. And there you go. So that about wraps up my review of this. I'd recommend it for $30 if you're not wanting a very uh, expensive keyboard. It has a nice typing feel. If you can hear that. Kind of like the chiclet style key on there. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions concerning the keyboard and you would like me to cover that, I'll just leave that down in the comments below and I'll respond to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more videos like this, please just hit that subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a very nice day.